Oh, spooky. Spooky, spooky. What's going on, everyone? My goodness gracious, another fine Wednesday. Am I right? How many people we got right now? Riley Junker, Rodden Ye, Tristan Jack, Flacco Kills, Smash to Trash, Titan Slayer 21, The Gaming Show. Alex Squilini, of course, is here. Novice Gamer, Wyatt Crawford. Logan Linton, Truman Myers, Too Cool, Fuller Fishing. Novice, uh, Jeff Bendick is here. Tantan -tan in the house. Good deal, everyone. Connor Quesney. Quesnel. I thought it was an eye for a second. I'm Kibby. Kibby? Juicy Hands and Robert Middleton. What is going on, everyone? I gonna I hope everyone's ready for another spoopy night of uh, Halloween fishing, is all I can say. Cause uh cause I am, you know. Let's see, I'm trying to. I turn that down just a just a tad more. Okay, I tell you what, um, I haven't done this yet, but I have, I have everything ready. I have everything ready, you know. Unlimited Streets, how's it going? Megan's here, Sharon's here, and Nakui. And Nakui? Oh my gosh. Well, I tell you what, oh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Get that, no, no. Hide, hide it. No one saw it. No one knows what just happened. No one saw the man behind the curtain. But we do have a slimy crank that we're gonna try out today, everyone. We're gonna be fishing. Woo! Light turned on. Uh, we're gonna be fishing for some ghost pike. Hopefully, anyway. One place I always seem to catch pike is like right here. So we're gonna try this out. We, it might take us a couple of days to actually get enough pike. Um, in fact, what I should do, I can't do it while I have this, this out anyway, so I might as well just keep on going. Keep on going. Come on, Ghost Pike. And I actually heard that they, uh, increased the, uh, like, the, the chance of you catching a Ghost Pike just the other day. Evidently, people were complaining about it being difficult to catch one, so they increased the chances. Gaming show just got a skeleton bluegill. Nice. Well done. Alright, this is where I expect to catch a pike, to be honest. Right at the corner, right here. Right as we get near the shore is always where I seem to catch one. Not today, though. Drat. Might actually have to get in a boat or something. I had a boat. What happened to it? Riley Junker caught two Frankenfish yesterday. Whoa, right on, man. I can't find the roach spoon. I'm getting upset about it. I read in the forums that everyone's having trouble, or nearly, nearly everyone who did not have the roach spoon from last year is having difficulty finding it this year. So that kind of, that kind of stinks. BZ Hub Mom is in the house. Well, hello there, Mom. Haha. <laughs> Change the username and you said I can't change it back to Bryce Bendick. Okay. Understandable. Understandable, Bryce. Well, I'll certainly try to remember it, man. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. We're gonna cast out this opposite shoreline. Like I said, we might end up having to get into a boat just so we can uh just so we can reach some of these areas a little bit better. But I have my fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, everyone. Too cool. Fuller fishing caught three monster musky. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Got to call the wild on PC so I can play on Mondays with you. Hey, right on, Smash Trash. That's awesome. Captain Bobeard. That's right, Henry. <laughs> Good to see you in the chat. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while, Henry. Tristan Jack doesn't have Fishing Planet, but really wants it. I tell you what, if you have a console or you have a PC, uh, it's a free game, man. You can't go wrong. Look at this. Good night. Good night. 
gonna be our first reeds. Fighting them in the reeds. Goodness gracious. These fish are stronger than I thought they would be. <laughs> oh, I feel like we're definitely gonna have to get a boat just because we can't see anything. Can't see. We're blind out here. Ooh, that one had an interesting color to it. That is for sure. Novice Gamer just sub Monday. Hey, right on, man. Took you seven hours. My goodness gracious. Can't say I've seen the roach spoon, the spider spoon pumps, or gravestone either this year. Yeah! I know, what the, what's the deal there? Do I have to play this game for two years just so I can get the roach spoon? Next year, the roach spoon will show up more? Good night. It's going pretty well, Rodney, eh? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my goodness, we can see through it. <gasps> oh, my goodness gracious. This is a straight-up ghost. The Ghost Pike, everyone! 16 pounds, $1,053. I to take a look with Heenail here. Oh my goodness gracious. Heenail, what do you think? Heenail, you look so you look so normal without anything on, you know? You're not wearing anything, buddy. What's going on there? Did your did your tackle harness break or something? I don't remember I don't remember taking that off. <laughs> oh well, that's that's okay. That's pretty cool. It's 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 pretty cool anyway. Right, right. You look pretty neat. You look pretty happy. All right, we caught a little picture there. Um, I tell you what, everyone. Oh, Ghostbuster. CC Brothers, you're my favorite. You're my favorite, CC Brothers. Um, I tell you what, the time that's good for fishing is just dwindling down right now. Um, I feel like we'd be better off just sleeping till the next, uh, oh, we could do 12 p.m. Um, the next day. Actually, it will skip forward to nine. Uh, I am going to go get that kayak, though. In fact, I probably should have just bought... Should have just got this one instead. 3,000. Oh, money's monies. Uh, but it's going to be much friendlier than that. Than that uh, kayak. So we'll do it. I'm doing this for you. I just spent just spent lots of money for all of you. That's how much I care about you. Here we go. And we're off. Vroom vroom! Oh my goodness. I can't handle the speed. It's too fast. <sighs> Love your vids. Keep up the good work. Hey, thanks, man. Oh, we're going full speed ahead, everyone. 100%! <laughs> Novice Gamer's got a lot of lag. That stinks. Where did you get the slimy crank? You know, I have three slimy cranks. I got them from various, uh, you know, various, uh, jack-o'-lantern, not jack-o'-lanterns, but the, uh, grave sites. Those are actually where we're gonna be fishing for our skeleton fish later on. So that's good to see. It's like a jellyfish pie. Yeah, it seems like it. Is it heavy? It was 16 pounds heavy. For Hino, that's nothing. You know, he know carries way heavier things. Having a Halloween party because my mom said we can go trick-or-treating, but at least I am having a party. Can't go trick-or-treating, but you're having a party. Well, sounds fun anyway. Now I get to watch your live stream live and not after. Hey, fantastic, Zach. Well, it's good to have you, man. Who are you going to call? Pike Busters. That's exactly right. I'm trying to do, drink anymore. I'm gonna be doing anything this Halloween. Well, isn't that sad? Look at us. Look at us in a boat. 
Look at us in a boat. Wow. We are so cool. Drop anchor! Alright, here we go. We are back at it with the slimy crank, everyone. I hate casting out of boats. Here we go, though. You can show us our your PC setup. You know, in one of my earlier videos, I actually showed my PC setup. So if you just go look for, I think it's the 3,000 subscribers special. I had like a 3,000 subscriber studio tour where I where I showed off my uh, my office and and, and uh, my PC and whatnot. So so yeah, check that out. You're supposed to dress for work? Would you rather not buy a costume? Hey, I've been giving you super low price costumes this entire time, okay? Every single Halloween extravaganza video has been a super cheap costume idea. Cold Phase 5 is here. Very nice. How can a ghost have weight? Special ghost. It's the weight of the ectoplasm when uh, he nil melted it down or something. I have no idea. <laughs> you know, ghosts, they're just made out of gas. They're, they're gaseous forms, and the gas weighs more than air, so obviously it has a weight, you know? Subbing in as a COVID buster. Hey, that's right. I remember you telling me that. Yeah, not a bad idea. Jeff Bendix or Bryce Bendix got to go, but left a like. Hey, thank you so much, Bryce. Lime Orange, new to the game. Have any tips? I I have lots of tips, man. I would recommend. First tip is uh, to watch the beginner series. Oh yeah, we got another Ghost Pike, everyone. Got another ghost pike. Uh, watch the beginner series that I've I've uh, I've made, and uh, just kind of follow along. You know, if I'm at Lone Star, you know, spend the same amount of time at Lone Star that I am. Um, watch what level I am in every video, and uh, and kind of use that as a guide of when you should be moving on to uh, other maps and and trying different things. So that's that's my that's my that's my one tip. It'll save me a lot of time to explain everything lime if you just check those videos out. It'll be great. You're loving these Halloween streams. Hey, top notch. I'm loving doing them because obviously it's a lot of fun to catch these uh, Halloween fish and do these Halloween missions and stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited about it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Inspired me to play and catch more fish. Hey, top notch, man. That's awesome. Ain't afraid of no ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Busting makes me feel good. <laughs> Here we go. Another pike down with the slimy crank. 14 pounds here. I tell you what, let's uh let's actually get the mission up, because I forgot to do it after I caught the first one. Uh, ghost essence. Here we go. So we need to catch. Uh, we need to catch four more on the slimy crank. Four more on the slimy crank. Let's give it a go. But yeah. I think he knows where planet is. Fishing planet. Hey. Ooh. That's true. He knows favorite planet. Sorry, I missed that, Alex Colinelli. But yeah. That's a good point. That is a good point, Smasher Trash. <laughs> King Charizard is here. Hey, right on. And Owen Murphy. What is up, man? Cheap money wise and joke wise in a good way. Exactly. Exactly. Come on, hook him. Gosh, darn it. How dare you? How dare you? We about had that one. Goodness. Goodness. Did you catch any bluegill skeletons? Not yet, Arena. I hope that's how I pronounce that, Arena Katzman. We're uh, we're trying to catch some ghost pike. I think we'll spend uh, at least half 
We'll spend half the video or half the live stream catching Ghost Pike at least. Um, and then we'll and then we'll go on down to the the other areas and try to catch some more fish. I just realized that I'm not even fishing at the right time of night, so so yeah, we're gonna have to change the time. I love when you say top notch. Man, I say a lot, so that's good. <laughs> All right, let's change the time to 12 p.m. Or 12 a.m. My mistake. My mistake, everyone. Here we go. Level four, and I've completed those missions you did in the first episode of the beginner series, and I don't know what to do next. Uh, you know, honestly, from Lone Star, you can go to Rocky Lake or you can go to Mudwater. You know, there's not too many choices. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of ways to mess up, though, I guess. Uh, so just take your time, get some moolah, and, uh, prepare. You know, a good way to, uh, look at it is, uh, is to go into the leaderboard and search for the biggest fish of, uh, of the type of fish that you're wanting to fish for in an area. And that'll kind of tell you the max weight you know that you might end up catching and uh and what to prepare for rod and reel wise so so yeah duant i say that duante is duant doante duante johnson i like it love watching your streams but hey thanks man appreciate it and ivis ivis m is here mason murs Goodness, great. There's so many new names. I love it. This is awesome. Yeah, that side's not working for us. Let's go on to this side, I guess. Goodness gracious. We had a bite at 9 around 9, 9:30. Now that it's uh now that it's actually the right time to be fishing, we haven't had a single single nibble. Timothy Descato, what did you miss? We've caught two ghost pikes so far on the slimy crank anyway. Um who knows? We might mix it up. We might try the blade spinner after after we catch one more or something just to try something different. As much as I enjoy fishing with Oh, that just got hit. Come come for it again. God, it just got to the boat, of course. Of course. That is the worst thing with the crankbaits, is once you get close to the boat or wherever you're standing, you can't really do anything more with them. They just float on top. Jennifer Mockley, I just got in here wondering what's happening. We are trying to catch ghosts. We're busting ghost pike right now. Do vid catching fish in the real world. I'll tell you what, I I did that a while back. Multiple videos, actually. So uh, you should totally check them out. I'm Kibi. Sandwich is temporary. Hubmaster is forever. So true. All right, we're gonna have to fish longer, a longer retrieve here. Or subway foot long. Ooh, subway foot long sounds tasty, Alex. Jason Bailey's gonna be back in ten minutes. Right on, right on. We think we we think we lost our first our first album of Halloween music is already done. I green 212 how's it going once we get this in we'll have to we'll have to move on to the next Halloween album what are we feeling are we feeling some beats or are we feeling regular spoopy Halloween music what are we thinking Ivis M do some carp fishing in real life or in the game what are, what are we thinking Man, we are fishing at like the perfect time. We're just not getting any bites. Isaiah Ware loves the videos. Hey, thanks, man. Tony Holler, how's it going? Ruben Layport as well, and Connor Quigley are impossible to catch. It brought it underwater for a little bit, waiting for it to be hooked. 
but I said I bought it out before it was hooked. Uh, that usually means that it, the the bobber is too close to wherever you are, Connor. So if you're in a boat, then you're uh, you're too close to where you're fishing. Unfortunately, I I have experienced that as well, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, and it basically means that your bobber is too close to you. So when you uh, when you try to hook it or something like that, your character like just brings it out of the water basically and ruins it. Gage Garrison is saying, hey, how's it going, Gage? Hey, understandable, Smash the Trash. Don't you worry about it. Timothy Descotel, of course I do, man. Green Stando, hi, hi. How's it going? Oh, we had a nibble there for a second. Man, this, uh, this slimy crank is just not doing it right now. We don't get any bites here in the next 10 feet. I'm switching. I'm fishing. I'm swishing. Green Sando lost their frog, their trophy frog popper. No, not Phil. Never Phil. Let's try this uh, blade spinner here. Changing it up, everyone. Mason Murs, can you play more hunting simulator too? You know, honestly, if I had more time, I might actually play it. But I honestly just don't have enough time. Don't have enough time in the day. The only time today that I've had time to play video games has been this stream. And that's basically my my uh, my weekly uh, schedule. Is I have about one to two hours a day to play games. And Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I play it with all of you. So, I mean, no. I honestly just don't have enough time to play. Sorry, man. I know some people are really into Hunting Simulator 2, and other people think that it's a really boring game. Uh, but I just do not have enough time, whether I liked it or not. Where do you get your playlist? From Epidemic Sound, man. The uh, the free, well, it's not free. You have to, it's like a monthly subscription, but the songs are all, uh, you know, you can use all the songs and all the sound, sound uh, effects and everything like that so you don't get copyrighted um, in YouTube videos and streams and whatnot. So that's where all the, the music comes from, all these Halloween musics and whatnot. Easy Hub Mom loves the Halloween music. Hey, thank you. Tell you what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. I was about to say, I'm doing a stop and go right now. And it's not really working. So I'm just going to do a straight retrieve this time. <laughs> and we got a bite. Goodness gracious. Evidently, the straight retrieve is the way to go. Good night. It's just going. It's going. 73 feet right now. We're sub 70. Should I, should I do sweet or classic? I'm thinking classic. Classic sounds really good right now. What kind of rod am I using right now? Well, I'll show you here in a little bit. William Cook, hello, hello. Do you play Call of Duty Modern Warfare? You know, uh, my brother and I used to play that every once in a while. And then I kind of ran out of time to play it. Uh, especially with this Halloween thing going on right now. I just, I yeah. I don't know if you're finding a pattern. <laughs> but the the pattern is that I don't have a lot of time to do the things I want to do. So, uh, so yeah. You know, I'd love to do a lot of things, including play Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, maybe some Hunting Simulator 2, maybe do some Fishing Planet, get all the way up to the top level, and then, and, and, and I don't know. I don't know what else. Become the governor of Kansas. But, um... Just soup's, soup's busy right now. All right, another 14-pound ghost pike. I tell you what, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get seasonal, everyone. Here we go. Here we go. Oof. Captain Bowbeard, ready to take on some freaking ghost pike. Let's go. Uh, straight retrieve worked the first time. Let's try it another time here. I would vote for you, the governor of Kansas. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> I've got one vote down. Connor Cohen, how am I? I'm doing well, man. Thanks for asking. Ruben Lavehor, I'm totally going to show what type of rod this is after I get this in. I totally forgot, but I'm going to. Austin Gaming, how's it going? James West, nice. Nice indeed. A little bit of up and down. You already got the pickle, I understand. You're watching the stream while catching Tyranitrout or fighting them with your fists. Hi, brother and rest of the chat. Are you using a leader? Am I using a leader? Yes, I am using a leader. Titanium leader, 26 pounder right there. Um, I am using the Loki 7'7", 6 to 24 pounds, so I'm getting a little bit of a fight with these pike, but not a lot, because uh, a lot of them weigh between 16, or between 12 and, and 20 pounds or so, a little, some, sometimes over 20. So this is a decent rod for catching pike, and you get a good amount of experience with them. We got the line glider 5,000, 24 pounds of drag on that, and then of course the 26 pound uh, titanium leader with a blade spinner. Um, you know, you think about why you use a leader, and it's basically so that you can keep your sinker, you can keep your bobber, um, but we aren't using a sinker or a bobber, so there's no reason to use a leader that's less than our braid. So, I mean, I don't have a 23-pound leader, I have a 26-pound leader, so that's what I've been using. Um, doesn't hurt, I guess. <clears throat> Do you keep the straight retrieve at the same depth? You know, sometimes I do. Um, just depends on, I don't know, where I think the fish are. Try to... But, you know, uh, I'm not sure where they are. The last ghost fish we caught was at the bottom. So I might keep it closer to the bottom. Maybe I'll do a little up and down movement, though, to, uh, to try to entice a ghost fish. You know... I'm not sure though. Evan Teal, how late are you? How late are you? What kind of question is that, man? You know when every stream starts. <laughs> you know exactly how late you are. How is your fishing, buddy? Uh, he's pretty good. He got in trouble today. He's all right. Old King Bjorn got in trouble. It's pretty bad when you're the king, but you get in trouble. <laughs> CC Brothers has to go, but we're the best. Hey, thank you, CC Brothers. Hopefully, you have a great night, man. Austin Latham is here. Good deal, good deal. Oof. Well, I think that was a snag, actually. Trying to get it off the bottom here. What is the hardest boss on Fishing Planet? Um, uh, you know, the one that I found the most annoying so far has been the Dendro Finn. I found the Dendro Finn extremely annoying. Um, and once I figured out the, um, the walleye, you know, the pike slasher, um, he wasn't so hard, but it was just figuring out how to catch him was the, was the thing that took me the longest. Once I figured it out, then it wasn't that bad. I just stood up on the dock and waited for a bite. <laughs> Played some phone games or something. I don't play Fishing Plan, not a lot, because I have school and Fishing Plan is grindy if you don't spend money on the game. Yeah, but you know what? I live for that sort of thing, man. I played so much World of Warcraft growing up. I mean, that's grindy. So I'm used to it. Sometimes the grindy games are the ones that have the biggest payoff. And, uh, you know, I enjoy that sort of thing. I enjoy when you look at someone who's a high level in Fishing Planet and you think about all the time that they've put into it to get to that level. I mean, that's that's what makes it special. Here we go. Got another ghost bike on. Is it just me? I think we're pulling him in. Oh, now he's pulling us out. Okay, never mind. 
<laughs> I'm impressed that you said my last name correct. Normally everyone says it is Cohen. Uh, it just seemed like Cohen to me. I'm not sure, but good deal. I am the first. I am the smartest man alive. <clears throat> I think it'll be the Frankenfish. Oh, I certainly could be Cohen. We got two Cohens in right now. I saw KP Shimino's vid and he caught many of them there. All right, cool. I don't know who KP Shimino is, but that's awesome. What did Bjornsson do? Uh, he's getting real bad about running out the front door when the door is open. And he'll get it through his noggin that he gets in trouble when he does that. And he'll stop doing it for a few weeks, if not a month. And then and then he'll get daring again. And, and he'll start running out the door. My goodness gracious. This darn pike is just... I've, is this going to be a PB? It better be a PB for all the work it's making us do. It's bringing us out to 100 feet. Good golly. What a scallywag. <clears throat> what level are we? I think we're level 45 right now, Mason. I think, anyway. I'm going to leave the stream for maybe 15 minutes. Got to do some homework. Hey, homework is important, man. You get to it. James West, the Lone Star. What is the hardest boss? The, the Lone Star one? Yeah, the Lone Star one's not that hard. You just got to be patient and throw your bait out and wait. Try different days. Took me a few days, I think. Here we go. Another one on the blade spinner. PB! Yes! Let's go! 18 pounder there. 11,000 or 11,000. That would have been nice. $1,100. Almost 1,200. So right on. Nice little ghost bike there. Let's see what Heenil thinks. Yeah, look at that. What do you think about that, Heenil? Got yourself a little ghost pike. Ghost pike. Ghost pike. Ghost pike. Oh, we got the moon in the background. Oh my gosh. Insta. Instagram. Busy Hub Instagram. If you're not following, follow. Okay. Should we catch? Should we, should, should we try to catch one more on the blade? We're catching him on the blade, I guess. You got the Dender Offense second cast midday. Dang, man. Well done. Yeah, I mean, I just had such a tough time getting it. And of course, I did catch it the one time, and then it broke off because it bit through the leader. Gosh dang it. I'm so frustrated about that. Got a bit bored and started playing Fishing Planet. And really like it. More of game, less of a sim. I got you. Well, I tell you what, someone else had said that as well. And uh, and I kind of want to go... I don't, I don't know what... I mean, do they make you tie the knot or something? I don't understand, like, what else they are making you do that makes it more of a fishing experience, I guess. That's what's making me interested. Get off the freaking floor. Come on. Get up. I have to go to a three speed just to keep it off the ground. I think it's good just because we threw it out so far. Jaden plays. How's it going? Joshua Games is here as well. Well, right on, man. So yeah, I caught both of my fringing fish on the first cast. That's awesome. Well, well done, Riley Junker. You're having a great time doing the writing assignment. Keep it up hot. Go. There we go. Ooh. Fighting them. Fight. I'm not even going to try to reel in. I'm just going to tucker them out. Just tuckering them out. Boy, we're getting them on the blade spinner, though. 
It is working. Timothy is level 60 on fishing. Hey, right on, man. That's awesome. You have put in the time. What lake is this? This is St. Croix, man. Gonna come alienating me now that I spelled his name wrong. Yeah, what were you thinking? e is an Insta model. I agree. That should be a hashtag. Hashtag he nail Insta model. Joshua Games, how was my day? My day's pretty well. I mean, it, it's gone pretty well. There was, there's been a few hiccups here and there, but uh, you know, like uh, I was supposed to have my uh, my musky golem video out before the stream, and uh, and I didn't, so that kind of stunk. But uh, yeah. So you know when you watch the musky golem video, which I hope will come out tonight, um, if if you if you're looking for something to fall asleep to, um, wait till this stream is over and then get ready for the musky golem video to come out tonight. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say multiple times that uh, we have a stream tonight, so I hope to see you there. Of course, the stream will have already been over by then, so you know just enjoy it for what it's worth, I guess. <laughs> Hundred percent. You have to eat, drink. You can cook, make your own bait. Much more realistic. Yeah. See, I, I, I don't really do any of that when I go fishing, though. It sounds like it's a survival sim, <laughs> not so much a fishing sim. I don't go fishing and like think, oh God, I'm getting, I'm getting so thirsty. I need to drink right now. Like, oh, I'm so hungry. I need to eat right now, or I might starve to death. Like, that's not fishing. That's survival. <laughs> so it sounds like Rushing Simulator is less of a fishing game and more of a survival game. Uh, that must be just living in Russia for you. Every day is survival. You have to focus on surviving. <laughs> Got kind of lucky. I was just using regular 20 pound test from the sport topwater and didn't even need a leader. Well, dang, man, you did get lucky. You got lucky, man. Just wondering, why hasn't there been any Call of the Wild videos lately? Mozu Kool-Aid, man. I don't know if you know, man, but I actually have this uh, Halloween extravaganza going on right now. Where it's 12 days in a row of uh, Fishing Planet videos. And, uh, and, and to do that, I'm very busy. And, uh, and I've said in the very beginning of the stream that I'm very busy every single day and any time I have left over I make a video for this Halloween extravaganza so uh, Call of the Wild videos are kind of out right now uh, Fishing Planet Beginner Series videos are out right now and then on top of that I'm kind of bored with the Hunter Call of the Wild <laughs> it's just not very fun right now um, COVID has really slowed down all new stuff coming to the game Silver Ridge Peaks was pretty fun for a little while, and then it then it got boring again, and so I, I'm not finding it fun. So I don't really want to play it. Versus Fishing Planet, you know, everything's still brand new to me, so everything's pretty fun. Writing all night for engineering, I've been written four total pages and diagrams. I'm still not done. The problem is I have to ha write a specific way. Ah, a specific way, eh? Go to 200 kgs or so, and you will be fighting for hours like in real life, let alone the belugas. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not playing that game, Cohen. <laughs> but uh, it sounds like some people do. But you know what? I bet the payoff of, of catching one of those, like the feeling you get after sitting there for hours catching a, a digital fish must be really cool. Where are we fishing at? St. Croix, man. Comrade Doge, what am I doing? I'm fishing for ghost pike, dude. Is it, are we, it's starting to get a little slow. Starting to get a little slow. We might have to mix up our lures here, everyone. You know what? I'm just doing it. I'm doing it. We're going to the spider spoon. Switching to the spider spoon. Oh. 
and I'm switching up my legs here. I am a great fan, and I'm level 14 player, still hesitating to go to Emerald Lake. Huge fan. Hey, thank you so much, Rowan. That's awesome. And Emerald Lake is a huge money maker. So if you think that you have gear that will help you catch a five pound uh, walleye, give it a go. Because I mean, it's it, it's gonna be a game changer for you. Emerald Lake is a game changer in Fishing Planet. You know, once you make it to Emerald Lake, suddenly things you never knew were possible become possible. <laughs> Not ready to be confused at 6 a.m. Well, that doesn't sound fun at all. I wouldn't want to be confused at 6 a.m. either. Should have been bowfin for the dendrofin video. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> what, what, would I just been a fish or something? Just had a fish hat. What if I made the Fisher Call of the Wild? Would you buy it and play it? The Fisher Call, like uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild, but fishing? Kind of like what they mentioned a while back. I mean, yeah, I'd probably play it. It's a new game and it's fishing. I enjoy fishing. New game by Expansive Worlds, as long as they're going to put out new content for it, for sure. I'll definitely play it. And you can donate gear to other players. Ooh. I think we might try a twitching te technique here. I'm gonna throw it out way over here. Anything big yet? We've caught how many? Five ghost ghost pike right now? We've caught five ghost pikes so far. I'm gonna try twitching with the spider spoon. This, oh man, can you believe uh, this has got to look so yummy down there? Can't believe we aren't getting any ghost pike. Some ghost pike is like swimming around. He's thinking, oh, that that purple spider web just looks, mmm, oh, amazing. Totally want to eat that. The gaming show. Hello, gaming show. What level do you have to be to go here? Ooh, good question. What is it? 36? Something like that? I'm not sure. I'll have to look once I get this in. Oh, dang it. I can't see. <laughs> I was hoping it would tell me on that little screen there, but no, can't tell. Um, should we mix it up? Should we go for like over here or something? We've been casting on the same area for a while now. Creek Pro feeder rod with a wind cast 15. Is that enough to catch big walleye? You know, I honestly don't know, Rohan. I, I don't I don't like have their their poundage, you know, in my in my brain. <laughs> uh I'd say if if your gear is past six pounds, then you should be golden, man. Zach stream for the first time since September. Yeah, I know, I was there. Lift and drop is best. For 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 a spoon? I mean, I'll 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 be willing to try it. Yeah, I can't even I can't even get a good I don't think that's I don't think that's right. 
<laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen. Yep, I don't think so either, Dylan. Connor Cohen. Um, I've explained this many a time, man. Um, but 119 pounds and in. Uh, tarpon, I guess, and fishing planet, and in real life, uh, we never weighed fish growing up. But I caught a 15 pound, 14 pound channel cat the other day, so we're gonna go with that, I guess. Hayden Myers is gonna get timed out, man. Ever been to Texas? Yes, I have. Yeah. Nathan Ryan, level 30 lake. Okay. Thanks, Mason Mers. Bye, gaming show. How's the strangling? The strangling of the ghost pike? Man, it's kind of slow right now. They're not biting. We switched to a spider spoon, hoping that we could uh, mix things up, but it's not, it's not working too well. I think we got snagged. Gosh dang it. Set up my drag to my middle mouse button. The plus and minus is too slow. Yeah, I understand. There we go. Good night. Get over here. Thank goodness. That was the smallest fight we've had so far. 13 pounder ghost pike. Right on, right on. Ah. Okay, so so we can get pike with this darn lure. <laughs> Golly. It's been so long. Oh, I just said something float towards my face. Oh. Biggest fish I caught was a young mirror carp. Hey, right on, man. That's awesome. slow we got four more minutes of trying to catch pike though four more minutes what's going on over here cringe session cringe session <laughs> that's awesome thanks for the subscribe cringe Going bass fishing tomorrow. Going to get big bites on products blow ups. Well, sick. Go get them, man. I just want to catch two. Just can we get two? Can we get two on the spider spoon? Just to make me feel a little bit better. Biggest carp is 59 pounds of fishing plan. Hey, right on, man. That's awesome. Oh! Is this really. Did we just nab a, a regular pike? No, okay. <gasps> there we go. Okay, good deal. Good deal. Golly, man. Ugh. Yeah, I'm a car fisher too in real life. I'm Belgian all ponds for the most part. Hey, right on, man. That's awesome. That's really cool. I hope to go fishing for carp in Europe someday. That would be really awesome. 
Victoria says hi. Hello, Victoria. Connor Cohen says, I think the biggest fish I ever caught in real life is either a young channel cat or a blue cat. Not sure. Not really sure, to be honest. And the biggest nun fish I've ever caught was a 16 pound snapping turtle. Hey, it's a big snapping turtle, though. Wish you could go fishing, but it's snowing. Ah, I will say that uh, we do have, I do have a special fishing trip planned for uh, this November. So I will have a, a special fishing video out then. So something to look forward to, you know? Come here, you fish. You're all tuckered out. I know. I know how it works. I want you to take a nap. Come here, take a nap. No. Get over here. You're 12 feet out. Seriously. Good night. I love how this is like the one time that it's accepted that the fish clips through this boat. Because it's a ghost, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. And have to pay for Xbox Live to play multiplayer, so I can only play with uh, with AI players. Aww. That's okay. Like by the dead tree, I catch eight a night. Eight a night. Good night. Oh, well. Um, so we've caught a few with that. Let's see. Let's just try a few with this, uh, this bone shad. I think we're gonna have to switch forward to the next night, though. Because we're running out of good fishing time. Let's switch forward to 9 p.m. We're just gonna be spending money out the Yahoo for this darn thing. Oh my god, I forgot about that. We have to pay for this boat, too. Ugh. <laughs> so we made like $2,000 from that day. Sweet. Come to the Dallas Cedar Hill area. Let me know. We have some big Texas bass coming through right now. You know, we're waking up at 3 in the morning, heading to a couple ponds and catching five pounders all day. Sounds awesome, Casey Bailey. Yeah, sounds pretty cool, man. Golly, cannot keep this this shad up for the life of me. Good night. Okay. I'm gonna try a few few more. Boy, if we could just get two with this, I would be happy. Catfish, five pounds. Hey, right on, Nathan Ryan. France and England is the best place to be for real heavy carp fishing. Yeah, I bet so. I was watching a video of the other, the other day of uh, cats and carp in Spain catching carp. And uh, he caught some 40 pounders. That was pretty cool. Common, common carp anyway. I really want this twitching to work. I feel like it's the only way I'm going to ever even get close to keeping this darn shad off the bottom. Uh. All right, we're going to try just a few more casts, and I think I'm going to call it good. For this first attempt, anyway. <laughs> and you can answer my questions. Clearly, this is my first live stream. I'm able to talk to the host. Hey, right on. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time. Hopefully, you're having a good time, anyway. <laughs> Connor Cohen's got a fishing trip planned from November 13th to the 15th at Lake Cumberland. Hopefully I can catch some decent sized channel cat and bass, so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Hey, right on, man. That sounds awesome. Yeah, hopefully so. Definitely going to have to uh, post some pictures in the Discord if you do, man. Oh, 
Almost caught a spotted gar on light tackle. Okay. Right on. What map are we on, Hayden? We're on St. Croix, man. Good old St. Croix. Aiden Schnitker caught their first ghost bike today. Hey, right on, Aiden. We caught one right now. <laughs> that was crazy. Didn't even... It just... We were almost to the boat with this darn shad, and then we caught one. So that worked out. All right, we're going to have to switch over to catching some bluegill here in just a second. Finish the mission is to do the spider at Quanchkin in the flathead hole and then the rest at Emerald. What what are we referring to? All he has is potatoes. Ten pound ling cod. That's pretty cool, Connor Kick Quigley. The little blue river, I think that's on my Instagram. Okay. Elastic in the first few parts of the pull. Interesting. Huh. What's the elastic do, Cohen? Brooklyn Fletcher got their first red tail catfish, 173 pounds. Hey, right on. That's awesome. That's a big one for sure. <laughs> use candy. Use candy. That's what I'm gonna use. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go catch some bluegill now. I think. There we go. Boom. boom. This boat is so fast, I can't handle the speed. Oh my goodness. I love how on the stream, like, I can't even tell where I'm going. <laughs> At least I can see it on my screen here. Green session is the event only happening at that spot. <sighs> I don't. I don't think so. I think the mission details. Oh. Messed something up. I think the mission details do say that you need to be at St. Croix. Uh, maybe not. Nah, may, maybe I just made that up. Here we go, though. Here we go, though. Here we go, though. Here we go, though. Catch bluegill skeletons at the Mercury Power Place. Here we go. We're gonna go catch some darn bluegill skeleton bones. Skeleton bones. What about a makeshift magnet fishing video after all this Halloween stuff? <laughs> yeah? Is that what this this uh, channel needs? You know, I'm loving all the fishing and call the wild stuff, but uh, what about a makeshift magnet? Oh, we passed it. Boat! Boat, turn around! We passed it! Oh my god, they look like skulls! They look like skulls. All right. This is good. This is good. We're good right here. All right, bluegill. Looking at you, buddy. Oh God, I have the freaking... I have not dealt with that in such a long time. We'll find out if I'm too close to this or not. Look at that pumpkin bobber there.
Might have to change my leader length. We'll find out. This bobber's just floating away. I'm going to change the length of my leader. I feel like it's going to need to be longer for it. Why did it get switched to four? Oh my golly. Oh my. Let's try this. Thought I had it at like 24 or something like that. We did it. We casted where we needed to. And we only have a bazillion things of slack in our line. The cloud or else it won't count. We have to park the boat in the cloud? That seems weird. But it, the, the see how the little thing is glowing? And then when we cast into it, it goes away. Like it recognizes that we're fishing there. I don't know. <laughs> American Truck Simulator. Ah! Maybe we should just play the games that I play. <laughs> I think you guys think too hard. You got you you're always thinking of other games for me to play when when I'm 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 just playing these games, you know. You know, just just think of it that way, you know. Don't don't waste your time thinking of games for me to play. You know, worry about thinking about other things. Don't don't think about me, man. Think about yourself, you know. Worry about your own mental health instead of mine. I'm going to go crazy, you know, whether I want to or not, you know, but you're, you've still got plans. You can become something. I'm just, you know, I'm a lost cause, you know, just let me go crazy. Okay. So Jack Zavala thinks that we should park in, uh, park like a car, I think. Oh, first try. So he says that we need to park in the circle. All right, well, we're in the circle now. This doesn't seem right, but okay. Here we are. I'm going to make this leader longer. Catfish broke your rod. Oh no. Huh, interesting. Well, I know that we haven't had a, a single bite since we've been here. I don't know who goes bluegill fishing in the middle of a lake, but, uh, doesn't seem right. <laughs> How big was the catfish, though, Mike? Was it a giant catfish? so big you couldn't get your arms out wide enough oh we actually had a ding take it take it fish the jack-o-lantern is moving it twisted. There we go. Skelly bones. 
Oh! Skelly bones! Let's go! That is so cool! That is one of the coolest models I've seen in this game. Wow. They did a fantastic job. We got one dollar! Woo woo! That's what I'm talking about. Sweet tooth, catch a certain number of fish using candy as bait. Yeah, bro. Yeah, buddy. Alright, here we go. Let's cast out again. It was in the water! Your rod never snapped before. I mean, yeah. Do I think I have enough candy for the mission? I'm not sure. I'm looking to catch a lot of bluegill. You don't understand. Like... Probably like a hundred and thirty-three. Oh, I don't have enough candy. Dang, I'll have to get some more. <laughs> soggy food alert. Smash the trash really does not like the sound of soggy food. I'm a cowboy now. Fish and did not snap. Well, did your uh, durability just go down to zero, Mike? You gotta keep your stuff repaired. That wasn't the issue. Mihoi, mihoi, minoi. What up from Fire Station 4? Right on, man. Oh, did you watch that? Did you see that? The bobber actually skipped off the water. That's hilarious. Sheriff Bo here, gonna catch some fish. I'm out here looking to catch a skeleton outlaw. And I'm gonna take him back. Probably dead. I mean, he's a skeleton bone, so he's probably dead already. Got me a button head buck this past Saturday. I thought it was a doe and I opened its belly up and it jumped over a fence and ripped its intestines out. My goodness, you've just painted a vivid picture there, Jackson. <laughs> oh, real rod, okay. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell. You know, when you play fishing games and uh, and 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 people talk about fishing in real life, you got you got to specify. Otherwise, I, I won't know which one you're talking about. <laughs> the revolver will put his holster in 0.38 seconds. That's right. Uh, these bluegill are annoying. These bluegill are annoying.
Go get him. Lugu. Lugu. What rod are we using? Uh, what was it? A Zeus seven foot seven? Not sure. We went over that a little while ago. I can't remember what exactly what it was. Hey, we got a nibble, nibble everyone. Take it. You know you want it. You know you want the piece of candy. All these ghosts just going over it right now. Arrgh. Mike 12 loves the vids. Hey, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it, man. The hat is just amazing. Thank you. Can you tell that I made it out of craft foam? Sheets of craft foam? Because, yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> Try a 25-inch bobber leader. Worked really well for you. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm like trying different different uh, lengths here. We'll try 25. Just for you. You mentioned it, so it must be good. Gutierrez. Adam Gutierrez is here. We'd mix the most disgusting things and try to, to feed it to someone. Ah. A hot dog with toothpaste on it. Yum yum. Here it has, but if you take a bite out of an onion, it doesn't taste bad. Mmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Maybe if you were eating an onion from that, uh, that Holes movie. How one plays with friends in that game. Funny Wig 54 Gamer. How one plays with friends. You've just got to, uh, you've just got to go to the same place, man. Cast close, like 18 feet. I honestly think my rod's 18 feet. Yeah, see? I tried to get it to 18 feet and my rod actually just reeled it in all the way. So I can't. Here's 38 feet. I mean, it's it's almost touching the end of my rod. I got 24 feet. That's pretty close. Your hat looks like it was tons of money. That's exactly right. Super expensive. The best of the best. With honors. Sir. How do you get a mod? Uh, you can go to like Nexus mods or in Steam you can go to mods there. You can get mods from everywhere, Caden Carpenter. JNM Beans, did you miss anything? Yeah, we've caught a handful of ghost pikes so far. And we're trying to catch more bluegill. So far, we've only caught one, though. Meh. This looks like it's going to take a while. What a splake is. A splake. Sold your PlayStation, you can't play it anymore. Gosh darn it. Christian McCurdy. It's a pretty fun game though, isn't it? Including two other days. My goodness gracious. Yeah, it's pretty slow. I mean, we've only caught one and this is, this is one spot. You have to fish multiple spots to finish this mission. 
So, I mean, yeah, it's it's taken a while. Asher Golan, what did you miss? You missed... I, I actually have no idea. I don't know. I don't remember when you left, so I don't know what you've missed. <laughs> Mike is level 18 in Fishing Plan. Hey, right on, man. Yeah, wouldn't say how many, so quite a lot, I imagine. That's right. They're ghosts, and they follow me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly what a splake is, but I know I've caught one. <laughs> Wild Beast 876. Smor Smoriginize. Goodness gracious, that's a hard thing to say. Oh! Don't you even. Stupid. No. Uh, see, who said that that was a thing that happened to them? Because that was a thing. That happened to me now. <laughs> if it's too close, then it won't count. It'll it'll say that you took the bait out of the water. Oh! I've been watching you for a year now, and I love your fishing planet videos. X X phase X X phase. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Oh. Here we got a ding. We got a ding. We got a ding. Didn't we get a ding? Surely we got a ding. If someone who didn't understand Fishing Planet was watching, they would just think that we were crazy. Did you hear the ding? I, I swear I heard a ding, man. Ugh! I've been sitting here for so long waiting for dings. And I finally heard one. Ugh! Nothing happened. So annoying. I just always try to join live streams by you. Well, thanks, Asher. Appreciate it. And this food that I'm closing out of chat. Oh my gosh. That's so sad. His food chat. Okay. ASAP Pops Awesome Gamer, sir. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little... Oh, I can't see over the grass. Games with Dan. Games with Dan. Hey, thank you so much, Games with Dan. Thanks for the subscribe, man. Come on, Bluegill. Skelly Bones. Goodness gracious. JM Beans heard a ding. That's what I'm talking about. Cole Starkey just wanted to stop by and say hi before I go back to playing Red Dead. Hey, Cole Starkey, you have a good time, man. Go pet your horse for me. Go pet your horse. Hunter Call of the Wild, where if the wind is to the side that you should aim in front or back of the animal if the wind is high? Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you're shooting like a mile away or something. <laughs> or, 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 you know, I don't know. When, when is like the distance that you have to worry about that? 500 yards? Bo is going insane. I, I feel it, Boondocks. I really do. I'm, I'm just not feeling this bobber anymore. Let's try... Over here. <sighs> Raw salmon with soy sauce. Ooh. Kyle Lenore, what did you miss? A whole bunch, man. A whole bunch. Fishes galore. We've got so many fish, I don't even know what to do with them. I've started handing them out to people in the chat. I'm just, I don't even know what to do with this thing. Here, take it. And I just throw it out. I agree, Sharon. <laughs> 
Imagine a bluegill breaks you off. <gasps> Man. If I was using spaghetti as my, you know, my fishing line or something like that. Oh, things! Things! Cat says that Zack is struggling. What is, what is he struggling with? Come on! I heard ding! I heard the ding! Oh, this is making me an angry pirate. Arr. You scallywag. We're gonna have to go back to the to going for the ghost bike. This is so boring. Like we're just we're just waiting. We're floating bluegill a bluegill bobber. Float, float, float. There it goes again. There she goes. There she goes again. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Take it. Go, 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 go. There it goes. Boom. Take that, bluegill skelly bone. Got ya. Got you, bro. Let's go. All right. Top notch. Another bluegill skelly bone down. All right. Is this the, is this way to do it? Should we cast out on this side? Well, we've caught two on this side already. What if what if this is it? Like we just continue catching them. Three, four, five, six. Done. Done catching skelly bones. You're on Zach's stream right now. What's he doing? What is he playing? He uh, he improved his stream uh, display stuff, which I thought was great. Seemed to have more luck on bottom rods. Ah, I see. What is the biggest bass you've ever caught in the game? Like uh, eleven point six pounds or something like that. I don't, I don't, I never weighed fish growing up, so I have no idea. It was, uh, you know, yay, yay big. <laughs> While fishing, I, yeah, I kind of feel it, Mason. I feel it. Do you like fishing for it in real life? I like crappie. Uh, yeah, you know, and I've never found a good crappie spot. I know that lots of people catch them, and I've just never had very much luck with them. Uh, I catch all sorts of bluegill, but I have never caught a crappie. So, uh, one of these days, I'm gonna get a good crappie spot, and I'll, I'll finally catch, I'll finally catch a bunch of them. His boondocks being bad again. Goodness gracious. Eli Hicks is here. Hello, Eli Hicks. God, this song threw me off. The dings in the background. I thought it was like a... God, we skipped that freaking bobber again. Good golly. Can you believe it? The leader suggestion was great. Micah Cook got bluegills. Can't figure out audio. Oh boy, that's fun. <laughs> he was having trouble with audio the other day. I'm not sure what his deal is. He's just he's just bad with audio, Deli. They're like a bass, but they are real fun. Yeah. Who can't hear Zach? I'm confused. <laughs> Evan Teal is back right on. Games with Dan. Hey, hey, games with Dan. Oh, thanks. All those species. Yeah? It's pretty cool. 
What does he now think about the bluegill skeleton? We'll have to check up with him next time we catch one. Which may be a while. Good night. Golly, man. What is going on? Right there. That's it. Can we just cast out wherever we want? We, get, we can just cast out. We can cast out closer to the shoreline if we wanted to. Let's do it. Do you know how to catch Emerald Lake Ghost Pike? Uh, no. Other than just, you know, to throw out lures to the grasses and stuff like that and try to catch darn pike. Couldn't be too much different. Throw out to the edge of the grass and reel her in. Micah Cook loves the real life fishing videos. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Eli's this this is Eli's first stream that he's seen. Hey, right on. How's my day? My day is pretty well. Oh, there's a ding. There's a ding. Oh, oh, it stopped. It stopped. It's going. Take it, bro. Go. Take it under. There he goes. Oh, he's a wild skelly bone. There he is. Woo woo. Let's see what Heenail thinks about it. <laughs> Heenail was so excited about the skelly bone that he stood up. That's how excited he is about it. Wow. Well done, Heenail. <laughs> uh, he didn't stand up for the pike and all that, so you can tell he's really excited about that. All right, three more to go. Maybe we'll use the rest of the time to catch more ghost pike. Golly, man. I'm playing Fishing Planet 2. I'm at Blue Crab Island. I'm here. I have the Bass Boat Pack. I started level 16. Now 38. Loving it. Hey, that is awesome, man. That is really cool, Rodeo Riker. Name of a rat. Where? You guys are weird. You guys are weird. Let's try to think about if little kids are watching this, everyone. Come on. We're playing a fishing game. It's good for all ages. The only thing making it not good for all ages is people in the chat. So let's let's be let's be let's be cool people. There's some dinging dinging going on. The bobber hasn't stopped though, which makes me think that it just swam away. I'd love to be proven wrong though. I love the skeletons. I do too. I think they're cool. Jack o' lantern is now facing us. I'm hoping it's the fish that's turning it. That would be great. Go. Phase is back. Hey, right on, man. You know, Fry, hello from the Philippines. Hey, right on, man. How are you doing? A few of my uh, good friends, including my college mentor, is uh, Filipino, so that's really cool. I've never been to the Philippines, but yeah, seems like a pretty place.
Hey, Bo, so if kids watch you, then why wouldn't older people watch me, like 18 or 15 year olds? I don't, I don't understand what you mean, man. What level am I? We're uh, level 45, I think, right now. Ooh, there's a ding. There's a ding. It's staying in place, too. This is it. This is it. We got a skelly bones. There we go. Ooh, this is a bigger one. Let's go. That's right on. Nice one! I can tell that some people aren't watching the stream anymore. Goodness gracious. Hey, my god, we're not even fishing in the, the right time. Go out. Aiden Forbes, what did you miss? Uh, four skeleton bluegill and a bunch of ghost pike, I guess. Do you know how to get the Golem Lure? Absolutely. Uh, my recommendation for the Golem Lure is basically cast into lily pads or or cast so that you bring your lure through lily pads and then and then you'll you'll end up snagging on line that has lures in it and that'll that'll give you the Golem Lure after a while. So that's that's what I would recommend doing. Doing that. That'll get you it pretty pretty quickly. We're doing okay casting out towards the shore here. Aye, matey. <laughs> what is up, Air Court? What's the lightest setup you should use for walleye? Ooh, I don't know, man. Four pounds, maybe? Three? I... I think four pounds would be the lightest I would go. Just because I don't want it to be annoying, you know? Almost at 9K. Very true. We are on our way to 9K. That's for sure. Oh, there's a ding. Let's go. We only need one more after this guy. Take it under. Go. He's fiddling with it. He's fiddling with it. There he goes. There he goes. Here we go. Another skelly bone. Very nice. One more to go, everyone. And then, uh, and I think it's going to have us go to another location. <laughs> Good night. Just goes on forever. Who dislike? Probably Boondocks. I have no idea. <laughs> What do you catch with the golem lure? Yeah, a big old muskie. Jonathan, Jonathan Milius. To catch what? I love fishing. How about you? I love fishing as well. I love fishing. This is true. We can just keep on rhyming for the rest of the night. I hope I don't get the flu. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's moving. It's moving. There we go. Got him. 
have you caught a lot? Well, we've caught uh, five, five bluegill here anyway. Top notch. All right, now we got to move on. Let's um, stop doing this. Oh, I missed it. There we go. All right, where are we headed? Helps if you uh, bring up the anchor. That helps. Where are we fishing now? We're fishing in St. Croix, my friend. I think this one's going to be... Uh, I don't want to jinx myself. Next monster fish video comes out tonight after the stream. I really wanted it to be done before the stream, but I just didn't have enough time, unfortunately. We had like a leak in the house, and uh, yeah. And then I was going to put out a message about the leak in the house. That way uh, I could explain how the video is going to be out after the stream. And I didn't even have enough time to do that, so... What can you do? <laughs> just really ran out of time. Hey, Boondocks, I timed you out, man. I, I'm having to worry about what you're saying instead of worrying about the fishing, and that's no fun. It's not fun for me, and that's what these streams are all about. They're supposed to be fun. So if you if you could if you could be a friend and uh, and not say things that I have to constantly uh, watch after, then uh, that would be great. Otherwise, you know, the easiest thing would just be to not ever have to deal with it ever again. So, don't want to have to do that. You are my spirit animal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? So, if I was if I was a spirit animal, what would I be? Like a squirrel? Like a cool beaver or something like that? Like a... Um... Maybe like a, a grasshopper or something. Where is your dog? I don't know what he's doing. He's off doing somewhere. I would I would tell Zachary to go get him, but he, he's busy streaming evidently. I have like 15 left. Hey, right on. Oh, jeez. Boondocks, I, I honestly just don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. We gave you plenty of chances, bro. It's been good having you all this time, though. Rex's gaming's in the house as well. Ooh, that was spooky. Spooky eyes over there. We got a ding, but it didn't do anything. Dumb. Let's do this again. Well, this is like as far as I could catch with this, or cast with this darn, this darn rod. <laughs> Two months ago, they don't reset for this year? I guess not, Eric Court. I guess not, man. How do you get the blue wrench next to your tag when the type in chat? Ooh, that's the that's the moderator wrench, man. That means that uh, you have a lot of responsibilities. You can no longer have fun. 
and you have to work all the time. Just like Squish. She never has fun anymore. That's why I save it, you know? Only for the- only for the people who, uh, don't have to work, you know, <laughs> That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> That's a big one. Not really. It's not big at all. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Is potato? Your internet is potato! Hey, potatoes can become great things. I, I don't know. <laughs> Squish, how's your how's your day been? Can you get the golem lure at Lone Star Lake? No, you can't. But doing the same thing, catching the line in lily pads and stuff like that, you will get. Um, what am I trying to think here? Uh, the invisible line to catch. The, uh, the buffalo, the, uh, Mad-Eye Buffalo. So it is good to do that. There we go! That's two out of three right there. So long as we can continue getting this guy in. <laughs> there we go. Two bluegill skeletons. One more to go. Though my rent's gonna expire in not too long. My internet is worse than potato. Rotten to... It's rotten potato. <laughs> you just have the bone shad and the blade spinner. I got you. Well, that'll still catch some fish. That'll still catch some ghost pike. Just not all of them. I mean, I can't catch all of them either. I still have to get a roach spoon. And I don't have one. You don't have the mission for the Mad-Eye Buffalo, sadly. Gosh darn. One more bluegill skelly bone. Come on. Mike 12. What are you, what are you upset about, man? All I keep seeing is you saying hi. I've already said hi to you, man. Say something else. <laughs> what? Pumpkey, how's it going? Pumpkey meat pumpkin lure. It's really a jack-o'-lantern, but but yeah, it's a jack-o'-lantern is a pumpkin, I guess. Just pumpkins aren't jack-o'-lanterns. Something like that. Do you take a shower or stay on? I tell you what, the stream's gonna end in eight minutes, so you might as well stay on, man. I mean, if you wanted my advice, you don't have to follow it though. You can obviously. I mean, honestly, the pirate guy is getting annoying, so I, I, if, if it was the pirate guy for the rest of the stream, just, just don't, don't even do it. I wouldn't even think it's worth it. But of course, Sheriff Bo is here now, so we're all good. There we go! Number three! Oh no, I became an Australian Sheriff Bo. There we go. Fixed, fixed it, kinda. <laughs> oh golly. I'm sure lots of cowboys have had to deal with the foam of their hats over time. Look at that. Now it became like Huckleberry Finn or something. Sheriff Bo for the win. All right, top notch. Oh golly, didn't mean to do that. Reelerin. All right, here we go. We gotta leave. Zoom, zoom.
Bye, Micah Cook. Take care. So I can't be a cowboy anymore. That's okay. This this cowboy hat doesn't fit my head either, but you know, I just I just go with it. Anchor. There we go. Well, why don't we just keep on streaming until we uh until we catch these six bluegill or until this night ends? How about that? Because the, the faster this stream ends, the faster I can put out the new Monster Fish video. <laughs> so there's there's that to look forward to. And we do this far south. Well, that would be cool. I agree. I like the color of that. Thanks, man. My uh, fiance told me that I should have done red. But I was like, no, orange. Orange is the best way to do it. I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. It's already become brighter. When is the wedding? November 14th, man. It's coming up. Did you see what I asked? I did indeed, Pumpkey. We don't really answer that question because lots of people ask it. So uh, so the the rule is just never to say it. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the it's the rule it's the it's the question that you never ask. It's the unspoken question. What is going on? It has completely tightened the line. But it, there it goes. Okay. Goodness gracious. I was just thinking like it, the line is completely tightened, but it just still hasn't taken it. Oh my goodness. We just got our new PB. Our new PB skelly bone. Let's get a good picture of this guy. That is awesome. I love these skelly bones. They're really cool. No big deal, man. I'm telling you, Lady Orange is the color. It's the color. It's the color that everyone wants. Don't you know? Possum Stompers here. You're the first one to read and reply to your chats, really? Dang, man. I actually accept snow with open arms. I love the snow. I wish I were always in the snow, and if I do not get snowed in, then it would be a problem. Or if you do get, you do get snowed in, then it wouldn't be a problem. I got you. You just, uh, yeah. Are you doing a Halloween special? Ah, uh, probs not. We're having like a family Halloween get together. So it's just So it's just kind of it's going to be a busy night. I doubt we'll have anything going on that day. Hey, thanks Eli. I appreciate it. Mike 12 loves school. Man, I tell you what, once you're out of school, you kind of miss it. <laughs> Got to go somewhere and see your friends every day. Got to learn things. Didn't have to worry about making money. School is pretty fun. You remember when we had 30k subs? Oh man, time is time has gone by, man. You're virtual, so you don't see your friends. You don't even see your friends in like other screens. This might be the worst year for the world. It has been quite a year, Jaden. 
that's for sure. Caven, Caven Ote, pretty much the entire stream, man. And it's almost over. I said I would keep fishing until this uh, this night ended, or we caught all six bluegill. So, so uh, we've got 45 minutes, or we've got five more bluegill. We will see. <laughs> you don't use video chats or anything like that. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Squish does not miss school at all. I understand Squish. It's because you knew everything that they were trying to teach you. I mean, what's the point of being in school if you already know everything? This is definitely out there. I'm going to my friend's house to hang out with him this Halloween. Hey, right on. I love how our music ended right as the stream came to an end. How crazy is that? Goodness gracious, my brother's like breaking his desk in there or something. Is it raining where you are at? Yes, it is. You were a terrible human being in school. <laughs> my goodness gracious. <gasps> Trying to get in a hair and school bait. Now that was an interesting part of the stream. I remember that. Bo is reading the chat quickly. That's because I'm not doing anything, man. I threw out the bobber. I'm just waiting to hear a ding, and I'm not even hearing it. I'm not even hearing a ding. We're just sitting here, just just waiting. Just just waiting. I only get to see my friends in football practice. Ooh. Well, I bet football practice is pretty good then. Hey, there's a ding. That's a ding. We heard the ding. It's still going though. It's still floating, which is not good. Usually if a fish wants it, it seems to stop. Or at least the bobber starts rotating. None of which is happening right now. I think it's a false alarm. I think we better call a false alarm, everyone. Outdoors with JB, how's it going? Hunter Davis is here. Pouring down rain. Pouring down rain. <laughs> we can take world history, it's absolutely unnecessary. Texas history for eight years before we can take world history? I'm not sure, man. Definitely didn't learn Kansas history for eight years. Sounds like a Texas thing. <laughs> oh, that's good, Smaster Trash. <laughs> I'm professional. Is that true? I'm professional? I am totally professional, says guy wearing a hat made out of foam. Me and my dad go for stripers. Stripe bass. Very nice. Very nice. Mike Mike is sick and he's missed two days of school? My goodness gracious. Oh, you have a you have a hobby for fishing in real life then? I got you. Twitch streaming or YouTube streaming? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Fishing Planet really isn't that big on Twitch. So I don't really watch it, or I don't really play it on Twitch. If I'm going to play on Twitch, I'll play The Hunter Call of the Wild or something like that. Um, otherwise, if I'm going to play Fishing Planet, I might as well just play it on YouTube. Nice hat, BZ. Hey, thanks, Watcher. I didn't catch anything till I switched time. Yep, I know, but I didn't want to switch days when the stream's about over. <laughs> so, 
so I know that the uh, the bite is pretty consistent between three to five because that's what the uh, time thing says I'll show you what I mean it's the same from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. so we have the same chance of getting a bite we're just not getting bites we're just uh, not getting any so yeah Only on opposite day, opposite day. I learned about the Holocaust in English language arts instead of history. I mean, something needs to change. I mean, yeah, you'll read, uh, what is it? Uh, Anne Frank's book, which I guess is in English, which then you learn about the Holocaust a bit. Yeah. Every day in real life. That's awesome, Mike. That is pretty lucky. I live in the middle of uh, middle of a city. It's not so easy for me to go fishing, but that would be pretty cool. You're on the bass team at your high school. Well, that's awesome. I'm gonna call it night. Gotta get up early. Well, hey, take care, Megan. Have a good one. They have a barbecue club. I'm super interested. <laughs> that's awesome. Nathan Ryan is going to go fishing for everything. Everything big. I mean, yeah, that's just how I work. I mean, that's just, you know, when I go fishing, that's pretty much all I catch is big fish. So, yeah. See if the stream is still going. I tell you what, I think we're going to end it a little bit early. We're not catching any fish. It's not doing anything. We're not getting any dings. I hear Zachary's getting upset though, so maybe we'll go uh we'll go check out Zach. <laughs> Been trying to catch some big snook, but nothing yet. Gosh darn. 71 p is that what we're at right now? We're at 71 people. I'm gonna give it three more minutes. Three more minutes. That's it. All right, everyone. I think that's good enough for me. We've given it a good go. We tried. We tried, right? He is raging. Yeah, I can hear him raging. <laughs> Zach's channel is Zacchaeus on Twitch. If uh, if you want to hear my brother yell a lot, go ahead and check him out. I'll put it in the chat there so you can see what it looks like. Um, feel free to go check him out and uh, I'm not sure yeah that's it that's it everyone I swore I heard a ding all right everyone yeah take care um, as a uh, as I've already said the uh, the golem monster fishing video is going to come out tom tonight so uh look forward to that and uh and yeah that's gonna do it should you use a bottom rod at white moose lake if you want to it's a really deep lake so that might be the the best way to go about it yeah but uh 20 what is it 17 pounds 17 pounds or better is is just fine for white moose that's it man that's it. i'm reeling this puppy in i don't even care anymore i don't even care anymore all right top notch hey thanks for being here everyone really appreciate it don't do that already because i'm not ready for that um yeah we'll see you tomorrow mm, i'm not sure i think i think tomorrow on uh on the hunter call of the wild on twitch i believe no 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 no. we're doing we're doing hunter classic wo werewolf hunts tomorrow on twitch so if you want to watch the werewolf hunting tomorrow on twitch make sure you're there go uh follow bz hub on twitch and we'll we'll do that it'll be some fun hopefully but yeah take care everyone and as always remember we're one planet 
one family game 